the urban agriculture scene in the valley is growing. It's attracted the interest of the federal government. Cronkite News reporter Jiao Wei Jiao went along as the top agriculture department official toward an urban farm in Gilbert. Green, green and green. It's rare to see so many different kinds of plants and vegetables in a desert environment. It's a good example of what you can do in these regions. Some people think maybe it's too dry to have a really good diverse agriculture, but clearly not. It's a wonderful setting. Gilbert's Agritopia is not a traditional farm. It has two parts, the community section and the commercial section. Joe Johnston calls himself the visionary of the farm. Community garden, people take it directly and eat it, or it goes to the United Food Bank. Then from the commercial farm side, sell to restaurants. But Tuska says she thinks other cities can learn from this place. It connects to the community with the community garden, but it also connects to commercial productions. Anytime you convert concrete space to green space, you're getting environmental benefit. Johnston says he also learned something from Bartuska's visit. He realized the farm needs to cut back on the range of products it sells. Each place has the things that it's really good at. For example, we're very good at growing dates. So that's a very unusual thing that we can grow here, and it grows really, really well. And so maybe we should focus more on that. Even though it's hot and dry here, Agritopia shows urban agriculture can still thrive. In Gilbert, Jia Huijia, Kai News.